would you yes. describe your title or position in a sentence? Uh, I am a technology evangelist for a company called a uh, boutique software development company called Touch Technologies. And what's your connection with Doug Engelbart? Well, uh, I was lucky enough to meet Doug um, at the Tech in San Jose at Ted Nelson's book release party. And that was back in October of uh, 2010. Of course, I'd known about Doug's work for years and been using a computer mouse myself for, for, for many of those years. Um, but it was obviously delightful to actually get to not only meet him, but, but actually get to talk to him for probably half an hour or so at that time. Do you have any interesting stories to tell about that half hour you spoke to him? Uh, well, actually, at that time, it, I found it interesting. He must have asked me my name about three different times. So he was very interested in knowing who I was, which I felt quite complimented with. He didn't want to leave without not knowing who I was. So uh, now, you're, now you're hosting this big party in his honor at your beautiful mm -hmm. house here in Portola Valley. Mm -hmm. Uh, how did it come about that you're hosting this large event? So I was um, lucky enough to be friends with Bill Dahl, who runs an organization called Next Now. And um, when Bill's been very involved with Doug and Doug's work for a number of years, and um, right after Doug passed, Bill called me, and um, we were just speaking about a possible way to give some closure and also some some. Um, ability for Doug's closest friends, family, and people who've worked with him, and also people who have been inspired by his work, um, an opportunity to uh, do a celebration of his life. Is there anything about Doug's work that you find the most inspiring? Uh, I actually, I have to say, of everything, I'm amazed and impressed that he changed the world and the percentage of people in the world who actually have not only the power, intelligence, um, ability, perseverance, tenacity, and ability to do that is something in the one-tenth of one percent. And Doug Engelbart is one of those people. He was a big proponent of something called collective intelligence. Are you familiar with that concept? Uh, yes, I am. And, and I, I'm ab an absolute believer, of course, in, in Doug's philosophy and, um, and y that Doug uh, pursued this and he pursued it with such a passion. Um, that's the other thing that I really, um, I really am grateful that, that he had. Doug had such passion for not just his work, but, but really for everything in his life, for his family, for his friends, for, for, for the people he worked with, with, with people he interacted with. I mean, I think he really, it, it, he really sought about making a difference on a daily basis. He really did seem to make a big impression. Uh, be surprised that there are so many people, uh, even though he wasn't extremely well known in Silicon Valley compared to some people who's sort of on the quiet side, mm -hmm. be surprised that this many people are turning out uh, in his honor. No, I'm not surprised at all. In fact, I'm. I'm. Um, it, 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 when we started planning for this event on Monday, we really weren't sure what sort of a uh, uh, RSVP list we were going to get, and of course, we were concerned with parking issues and, and and logistical kinds of things like that. But we were uh, we were absolutely hoping that the the people that are closest to Doug. Um, you know, would come, and, and, and that's the case. So, no, I, I'm, very, I'm very, very pleased. I think we have